Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. My name is Cub. Last time we created a snow farm and an ice farm out at our snowball area and also found and hid the egg somewhere in this base where it remains to this day. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We've been hiding the egg now for over 200 consecutive days. I think this is like day like 205 or something right now. Um, so with our 50 days before from the first time we got it, I think we're over halfway to the 500 days required to win tag. So yeah, good luck to the other hermits finding the egg in this base. And yeah, like I said, if the hermits do find it, uh, during this episode, or if we win, uh, we will, I will show how I hit it because I think it's a pretty clever way to do it. And so far nobody's found it despite a couple people trying. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. We may win tag, but for now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the snow farm and do some work out at the snow bowl. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see behind me, we got some stuff started here at the snow bowl area. I've decided I want to have a pathway through the very center here of some ice so we can quickly and easily get, you know, to the snow farm and ice farm and get to all these uh, powdered snow cauldrons here. Um, and yeah, we also have some snow blocks going down on the sides here. I think I might just make the entire area here snow blocks. That's a lot of snow blocks to cover in terms of like just sheer like land mass, but I think we can do it with this snow farm. I think it's not going to be too much of, a, of an issue. Um, but guys, I recently got some bad news. Well, all, it's kind of good news and bad news. Um, but the egg has been taken, ladies and gentlemen. We have the, the tag has been stolen. Uh, from us yet again, but the good news the good news is also that the tag has been stolen Which means I can show you guys some of the stuff that I put into the base uh, to hide the egg Which hid for I think 300 days just about 300 days almost a whole in-game year um, So I'm gonna take a break from this for right now We're gonna head back to the base and take a look at the tag uh, setup I had there Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to home sweet home. <laughs> so I'm guessing that Iskall probably put this sign down because Iskall is the one who took the tag from the base here. But uh, let's talk about tag a little bit. So first of all, the stuff I showed last time in the last episode, this excellent sign with the trap door here, which leads to an array of tunnels, is all basically an elaborate troll. There is nothing down any of these pathways except for troll signs. There's an egg here, and that is the legit dragon egg, of course. We also have the troll black stone on the side here. And yeah, basically every other tunnel leads to a similar sign or something that I found pretty funny for some reason. Like just this sign over here, for instance, just says, nope, <laughs> with a smiley face and the troll black stone. Uh, so yeah, all this was an elaborate diversion. Uh, also, the... Note blocks here, and some on the sides as well. Some of these uh, make noises. All an elaborate diversion from the one critical component you need to solve this, and that, of course, is this detector rail. Now, I haven't seen Iskall's video if he actually activated this yet, so I'm curious to see if it was actually activated or not. He may have activated it inadvertently, too, uh, depending. Yeah, okay, it was activated at some point, so he may have found that. I'm not sure... Uh, if he actually recognized it or not, but I hope he did. Uh, but yeah, this is a comparator update detector right here. So if I stand on this detector rail, you can hear some piston action going on behind this wall. And this is actually a really cool thing. So let me just show you real quick uh, what this is. So if I break in here, you'll see, and I also break this. There we go. Yeah, so we have a comparator update detector right here. So effectively what's going on here is this comparator thinks it's being powered when it's actually not. So if I, for instance, uh, place this down, you'll see that this cauldron moves back a little bit. Uh, and what I can do now is if I update any block around the comparator, like if I break this block, it'll send a redstone signal out. Check this out. You see that? See that? It's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, you can do that with anything. Like, I, I can detect placing an anvil without an observer. The comparator just updates. And anytime something updates next to it, it activates. So, we use that, that here. And you can also do stuff like if you throw a 
item on the detector rail that also activates it continuously. But basically, the idea was that the player had to stand on this detector rail, activating this, and then this redstone line eventually leads to a door down here, and I'm actually going to need some ba -ba 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 -ba, leather boots. Yep, going to need some leather boots. Activates a door which is right here. These two blocks right here, this is actually the door that gets activated. Uh, and I can actually show you back here. This is how it's activated, just a dropper. So it shoots the die right into the dropper. Uh, and then, yeah, the door retracts. You can see if it's not like this, then the door is active. Uh, and then once the signal comes down here from the, the uh, comparator update detector, bam, it opens. And there's a sign here that says something changed. Now, before you even get to this, you might the person might have came through and looked at something like this. So you might have seen something like this at one point, uh, where it's just this, and it says not, Dragon Egg not here. And the hope was that they would actually fall through this powdered snow because they wouldn't be wearing leather boots, and they'd end up down here. And then down here, we got a maybe there's another way sign, and the way up sign, we got a couple of troll obsidian down here. Of course, uh, why not? Uh, and yeah, there's also a hint toward the powdered snow up here uh, that there's something more behind this potentially. Um, and yeah, hopefully, I'm not again. I haven't seen the video yet, but hopefully, Iskall came back up here and had to circle back around at least once. That was the idea with that whole thing. Uh, and then he would make his way back in. This time with leather boots and having activated the detector rail at some point. And then he would have seen the something change sign, right? So then with the leather boots on, he goes in, right? This is going to be covered up, right? The door is retracted now. And you have another powdered snow. At this point, I'm not sure he got to this point, but I think you go down two blocks, over one block, and then up another two blocks on this side, at which point you come through, such dragon egg, uh, such dragon very egg, wow, and the dragon egg was right here on this uh, quartz block. Uh, and the thing is with this, I was hoping that like somebody would come through with leather boots like this and go too far down, because then you end up in the same spot as if you fall in from the first time before you had leather boots. So that I thought would really confuse people. Uh, I think Iskall ended up using some type of ender pearl through this, I want to say. Because uh, you can't actually use, like, elytra up here. At least not very easily. Yeah, not very easily. Uh, so, well done, Iskall, on that one. But uh, that's how you were supposed to do it. And, yeah, I thought it made some clever... A good clever use of the powdered snow tricks. With the, with the leather boots. Allowing you to walk over it, so... Anyways, that is that. I was pretty happy with it, and I think we should go and check out uh, how much we scored on the scoreboard. So let's fly on over to the Bodum area, and we'll see what our score is at the giant egg. The tag egg, as it's so called. And we find the current scores. Cub 351, False 132, Scar 131, Ito 123, Gem 110, Green 44, Iskull has it currently. So... There we have it, ladies and gents, the tag scores, and yeah, we're getting close to a year, one whole year of holding the tag, so feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. That was a good uh, place to hide it, I think, and yeah, it fooled at least a couple people, I know for sure, so yeah, that's great. Anyways, let's head on back out to the snowball area, and yeah, we'll see what we can do out there today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the snowball area. We're ready to get this thing rolling. We're ready to get it, dare I say, bowling as well. And yeah, let's just go ahead and fill in all the gaps here uh, with some snow, snow blocks. And we're also going to replace all the dirt here with snow blocks as well. And I think I also probably should make like a wide circle here that basically like encompasses the entire thing. So it goes over to there and then over to that torch tower and then over there. And we also got to clear a large portion of that hill right there too. So lots of work to do. Let's get to it. 
All right, so let's start this project here. So we start out basically flattening off the area. So obviously a lot of dirt, a lot of grass going down. And we also had to clear out a fairly sizable hill next to the ice farm, as you can see right here. Then we started up the snow machine and we eventually got a bunch of snowballs. And you can see here some intense crafting action going on. So we crafted up a bunch of snow blocks and then continued to dig out the area, placing down snow blocks everywhere we could. And eventually, we got the entire area here, this whole 103 block radius circle, completely filled in with snow. So during that time lapse, you saw me replace all the dirt in the snow bowl with snow blocks. So this is looking nice and freezing cold now with all these snow blocks placed down here. We've also made some other big changes to the snow bowl. We put down pathways of some packed ice. So got one pathway going north to south right here and the other going east to west right here. And this basically helps you to hop, skip, and jump around super quickly so you can get from the snow farm to the ice farm to the powdered snow area uh, with relative ease. Now we also put down some soul lanterns. Of course, if you saw my most recent video on Minecraft lighting, you'll know that these soul lanterns don't provide very much light currently in 117, uh, but they're just mainly uh, aesthetic and they fit well with the, the blue of the packed ice and the actual snow as well. So. There will be mobs that can spawn in this area because we're using these uh, these lanterns here, these soul lanterns instead of regular lanterns, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. If it's a little bit dangerous, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we've also went ahead and we've made it so that we don't have to jump to get on top of the cauldrons anymore. You can see we can just walk up and down. Same thing with the ice farm. You can just walk up and down, no problem. And that's because we have five snow layers right here. Uh, you'll see if I put down one, two, three, four snow layers, we can walk up onto the snow layer, but then you can't walk up onto the, the ice farm. So you have to have five to basically make it a snow half slab so you can walk onto the block. So that's pretty nice. I think it sets, sets in the cauldrons really nicely where you just have like the top couple of pixels poking out. And I'm thinking like this is going to be like one sort of like grouping of cauldrons. So... I think we'll have another pathway coming down here. You'll see I actually already started to put down the, the snow layers for this side. And then we'll have another group of cauldrons like on this side with a pathway running between them. I think that'll be really cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to that once we get enough cauldrons to do that. So that's that. Uh, you might also notice we got a little igloo here. We made the igloo out of powdered snow. Or no, not powdered snow. Regular snow and uh, quartz blocks because unfortunately there are no snow bricks in the game. Would be really nice to have like a snow brick block, but anyways, uh, we hit this button, you walk in, here's the inside here. This inside is spawn proof, uh, even though we're using soul torches to do so, uh, to, to make it spawn proof. Uh, we also got some ice in here, and you have like some skylights too, so you can just look up and tell if it's day or night. We got a little couple windows here that are uh, light blue stained glass, so they sort of fit with the theme as well. And yeah, inside here, just some basic amenities, and... Yeah, that is the inside of the igloo here. That's This is meant to be like where you, you AFK for powdered snow and stuff. So just a little like safety igloo, I guess. So what's next for the snow bowl area? Well, we actually have to make this into a bowl. Right now it's just a giant circle of snow, but we need it to be a bowl. So I think we need to build up the sides a little bit, or actually not a little bit, quite a bit actually. So we'll build the sides up. Right now I'm thinking we want it to be like a little like half circle shape, basically. Uh, although maybe it'll be like a little bit more of a triangle shape. Like it goes out like this and then over. Uh, we want to have a little bit of an overhang, but not too much because we do need the cauldrons to be exposed to the sky in order for powdered snow to accumulate. And also we need sky access for the ice to accumulate too. So um, yeah, that's something that we need to consider. Uh, let's see, what else? We obviously need more cauldrons to, you know, fill up this area here and the other area over there and the other other area right over here in this area. So we want this to all be filled with uh, cauldrons collecting powdered snow. Uh, we could expand the ice farm too, make this a little bit bigger. And also, since we have snow now, make it the faster design. So that's something we could do there. And then over here, uh, with this snow farm, particularly underneath the snow farm, I'd like this area to basically become fire. What I mean by that is <laughs> we have to have light here because I'd like this area to be spawn proof during the daytime. 
And underneath here, there's so many blocks that mobs spawn if I get rid of these torches. But I'm kind of thinking, like, what if the crying obsidian, like this purple stuff that falls, these purple particles that fall, what if this basically ignited snow <laughs> and then it burned blue? So basically, it would be like this. So if we got out the soul soil like this, uh, we put this soul soil one block down like this all around this area and then light it and this actually produces blue soul flames when you ignite it and I think that would make a really cool effect it'd be like a lake of blue fire that was caused by the crying obsidian particles igniting the snow so that could be kind of a cool thing and look really nice especially with this uh, this deep slate here so yeah we might get going on some of those things and also try to recruit some people to donate some cauldrons to this cause <laughs> dang it give me this other one <laughs> all right guys so it is 103 blocks from this block here to those blocks on the far wall on the opposite side of the snowball so I'm going to go ahead and just randomly guesstimate that in order for this to appear to scale, we're going to have to build the sort of half circle thing here 21 blocks high. So that's what I'm going to try and do. We're going to make like some type of circle that's 21 blocks high, uh, probably from this point here. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see how it looks, see if it's of appropriate scale. All right, guys, so we got ourselves a little half circle here of height 25. I think this is what I'm going to go for for this project. Uh, it's a pretty easy pattern to remember. You got four snow blocks, two snow blocks, two snow blocks, one, one, two, two. Then you have seven going up, and then just reverse the bottom side. So two, two, one, one, two, two, four. So pretty easy to remember. And yeah, it has sort of like an appropriate height, I think, for this project. It keeps the whole inside open. And I'm thinking like we'll have this shape, right? All the way around the entirety of the outside of this circle, except in the corners. So how can there be a corner to the circle? <laughs> well, basically there's a straight area here, like from this block to this block is basically totally straight which means it's going to be very tough to build a shape like this uh, in this section. So I think here maybe we go with some ice, right? Maybe like an ice like cliff type thing to connect up the sections that look like this. So we'd basically have like a huge section of snow, then an ice section, then another huge section of, sh of snow, then an ice section, huge section of, sh of snow, ice section, huge section of snow, and then ice section here. I think that would be pretty cool. So that's what I mean by ice in the corners, even though we're in a giant circle and there are no corners, corners to a circle. Uh, something like that I think could look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started on this thing. All right, all right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. It's looking cool. It's looking cool, literally. It's it's snow, it's, that, was, that was a joke, okay. But it's looking good, it's looking good. I think this will work for us. Uh, one thing I might do though, let me get up here. I might connect this across this straight line like so. So if we go out like this, one, two, three, four five six and the seventh one should be the last one nope seventh one eighth one should be the last one is this right no it's this line i messed up there we go it should be this one instead like that perfect all right let's see how that looks 
And then we'll have an ice window. Oh, hello, skeleton. Yep, like I said, not going to be spawn proof for now, at least. Uh, until we put some stuff in. But these guys can't come out here during the day. Nice! Yeah! Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I might want to put in another snow layer there, but we'll think about it a little bit more. For now, though, I think I want to take a break from this because we've been putting down a lot of snow. Uh, I want to see if we can recruit recruit some people to donate some cauldrons in exchange for some powdered snow and access to this area. So, yeah, let's go see who we can find online. Looks like B-double-O, Beef, and Jevin are all online. Uh, at least active online, not AFK. So we're going to stop by their bases and see if we can find them. Hello, 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 Mr. B-double-O. All right, B-double-O, got a deal for you. He says, love deals, okay. What if I gave you access to this in mass? But, okay, unlimited? Wait, in mass, you said. In mass, yeah. I'm setting up a huge, huge powdered snow area. It's called the snow bowl. The snow bowl. The snow bowl. The snow bowl. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> I, I love this effect, too. I haven't experienced this can yet. Can I? Can you see me inside? Oh, you can. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Can you see my head? Hold on. Let me see if I can poke my head out. Okay, okay, slightly. okay. Can Let's you see. Let's see. Tell me when you can see my yep. face. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, the, Beautiful. That's hilarious. I love that. Okay. In return for, hold on. Wait, I didn't see this. Mm -hmm. It would be perfect topping for this mountain, perhaps. <gasps> yeah. Hmm. Yes, possibly. Okay. See, Corrales wants, he wants Tuscan theme. Ooh, okay. Okay. Which not much snow cap there. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I can ask him. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, Just to could... layer it on top of this. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you could put like a little, little ice cave in here or something. Or Ooh. maybe make like a little trap. Because, I mean, if you try, go ahead and try and walk on that. Go ahead and try and walk on that. I ain't going to try and walk on that. I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> no way. So here, here's the deal. With this powdered okay. snow, right? With this yes, stuff. Yes, yes. Love Basically, it. you can get an unlimited amount from the snowball yes. as much yes. as you want, whenever you need it. Wow. But wow. you got to donate a couple of cauldrons to the cause. Only a couple? I mean, as many as you can spare, realistically, because we we want a lot. We want a lot. Interesting. Uh, you got wings on? Yes, I got Do I have wings. wings on. Yes. Let's go to the moon base. To the moon base. Whoops! Overshot. Whoa, overshot. It. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay, real quick, real quick. Yep. I'm just yep. going to take a lie down on the couch here. Real oh, fast. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, um, definitely. And then we Hang on, will I wonder, see. I wonder, do you, what happens if I do this? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It did, it did. That stuff is crazy. The physics on that are strange. Okay. They're All strange. Right. Uh, we got a decent amount here. Okay. Um, so the boys have been taking all my... Uh, iron. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> All right. Let's craft some cauldrons. Can I just give them to you now? That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh. Okay. Eleven feels. I would love it to be more round. Okay. We'll go with ten. Okay. Perfect. We'll go with ten right now. Perfect. Uh, that'll be the first initial investment. All right. And and I I'll, I'll probably say Tango and Corrales have none to donate. Yet, okay, okay. Right Cuz they've <laughs> been enough. taking all my iron. I yeah, dude, iron has been like really rare on the server this season for some reason. It's cuz we're we're all concerned about copper, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We just care about copper and the iron's like, "Yeah, whatever." Yeah, it's a, it's a secondary resource now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. exactly. Exactly. Well, all right, man, that's great. Uh I there's a tunnel in the Nether that leads right to it. There's a snowball. There'll be snow there soon. Uh you can't miss oh. it. Um, wow. Yeah, it's a whole area out there. You can AFK there. I'll be AFKing out there to get some powered snow. And uh, thanks for the cauldrons, dude. It's great. Of course. Yeah. And then, so 10. 
The ten are are we can harvest from ten of them right now, right? Yes, yes. And so okay. like you 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 look in, it'll be at this level, right? Mm -hmm. You just and then hit it with the bucket. Or, uh, bucket. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Try it out. Try it out. Get a get okay. a little sample. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a little sample. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Uh huh. Easy, easy. You can wow. keep you can keep this one as a souvenir, man. Keep this. One I as can. A souvenir. Yep. Oh wow, this is amazing. Okay, you know I'm gonna accidentally place this and die. Yeah, I mean it happens. It happens. It's gonna happen. Yeah. So keep an eye on the chat. It'll it, it should sure happen thing. within the next five minutes. I'm sure. Sure enough. All right. Cool, man. <laughs> Thanks again. Awesome. Thank Farewell. you. See ya. Cub. Beef. Hello. How you doing? Where are you? You're disembodied I'm voice. Right. Oh, there you are. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, What brings you here? Uh, I have a proposition for you, my friend. Oh, okay. I'm always up for some propositions. Something that you might find interesting. Okay. I'm going to need you to do something for me real quick, okay? And what's that? All right. I'm going to need you to close your eyes, okay? Okay. All right. And then when I tell you, you'll open them and you'll be in a magical wonderland, okay? All right. Sure. All right. All right. Are you ready? Cl I'm ready. Close your eyes. Eyes are closed in real life. All right, now open. Oh, it didn't. It didn't quite work. Well, you can imagine. <laughs> you can imagine. There you go. Now you're in the Wonderland. Beautiful. Yeah, I've I've never actually been in one of these things before. This is an unbelievable. It feels like Christmas. It's it's pretty nice. I wouldn't recommend standing in there for too long though. But no, uh, no, definitely not. I was feeling a little chilly. Yeah. So these are some powdered snow blocks. I'm wondering if you're interested in getting some of these in mass uh, with me, basically. Ooh, getting them with you, like in partnership. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of people together in like a collective uh, with some cauldrons, right, to collect this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting a huge project called the Snow Bowl. And I want to have, okay. like, a ton of cauldrons to get a bunch of this powdered snow. Dude, I'll do it. I'll collect some snow. Are, are you in? Are you in? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll collect some snow, sure. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Okay. You get unlimited access to the powdered snow area, right? Okay. For a donation of as many cauldrons as you can spare. Oh, I see. I see. So I have to, I have to make the cauldrons. So am I not collecting the snow? I'm just giving you the cauldrons? Yeah, you can you can you can stop by and, and you can collect the snow or I'll collect the snow and I yeah, you see. can come and pick up some snow. Uh it's just okay. it's supposed to be like a collective basically, right? All right. Uh I just happened to acquire a bunch of uh, iron blocks, so I mean, I have some to spare. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Anything you can spare will be will be wonderful. Did you want them now? Yeah, if you have them, if you have them, I would I'll take them now if you <laughs> if you want to be uh, uh, Sure, yeah, be follow me. All right, let's go. Oh, baby. Look at those cauldrons. Coming out Hold on, I'm not done. But wait, there's more. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, what's the typical? I don't want to under donate or over donate. What do people typically provide well, you with? Well, it's whatever. It's whatever you can you can spare. Right now, I think you're at uh, you're at. Let's see, forty. That's twenty, twenty two, twenty three, twenty five. Okay. That's okay. a good amount. That's a good now, amount. Now, is there a way to actually make these en masse, or do I have to make them one by one? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, you can... Oh, no, you can't... Oh, I can click them like this. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't make cauldrons very often. i got to be honest with you. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're kind of a rare block, and they're, they're very iron intensive. That's why I'm going around asking people to be part of this. <laughs> it makes sense. That's a smart business decision. Indeed. Indeed. All right. This will be... Uh, Maybe I'll get you just one more right here. There you go. Okay. Fantastic, man. And tell you what. Tell you what. I'm going to give you this powdered snow bucket Ooh. as a token of appreciation. And, yeah, there's more where that came from out at the snow bowl uh, to be completed soon. It's 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 in the process of being built right now. Can't wait. Thank you so much. I've never played with powdered snow before. This is, oh, geez, I accidentally dropped it. Uh, <laughs> this, is my first, this is my first one. Oh, that's awesome. All right, man. Thanks for all the cauldrons, dude. Very much appreciated. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. Thanks, man. See you later. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So we got two generous donations from Beef and B00, which is fantastic. And I think now we're going to head on over to Impulse. It seems as if Jevin is elsewhere. I think he's actually fighting a Wither, because I heard a Wither sound activate. And I know he's been busy getting Wither skulls for quite some time now. So 
We may be back to visit Jevin in the future, but for now, let's go ahead and head on over to the Bodum people. We're going to see if we can find Impulse and potentially Mumbo as well, if he's not still AFK when we get there. Alright guys, so let's see if we can see Impulse somewhere around his base. Hello? Impulse, are you here? Oh, I hear him. I hear him. He's here! Yeah, let's go! I have a voice. Would that Hello. be better? <laughs> yes! Oh, that yeah, we have voice mod, right? <laughs> that's right, that's uh, right. That's, that's gonna make it much easier to do a deal. Dude, powdered snow, you got some finally, huh? I got some, and I'm setting up a powder snow collective. Oh, I'm okay. wondering if you, what's if, that mean? So basically, I'm gonna we're gonna set up an area, or I, I've already set up part of the area, but we're setting up an area where anybody can get powdered snow from at any time for any reason. Oh, okay. So what you're gonna have like a bunch of cauldrons just out collecting it at all times, or what? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just a oh, bunch of cauldrons out there. If you need some, you just stop by that area. It's a big snowball nice. area. It's pretty wild. Oh, it's pretty wild. I like that. Oh, can, is there uh, leather boots, right? If you wear leather boots, can you? Is it? Can you walk on? This yeah. Stuff? Okay. Yeah. You have any? Oh, have any on you? I, I don't have leather on me. Oh, oh yeah. Man. It's oh, kind I'm of a niche thing, out. but yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So, what you you uh, what are you selling passes to this collective, or how are you doing this? Uh, so, you'll get access if you just donate uh, as many cauldrons as you can. Like, just oh. just donate donate some cauldrons and be a part of it. You know, we, the iron is goes into cauldrons, and yeah, uh -huh. iron is pretty expensive. So, we just Come need uh, cauldrons to to get this going. Okay, coming down. <laughs> oh baby look, look at have. this look oh look have. at this <laughs> I, I have got a whole farm. little setup holy smokes yeah <laughs> so iron's not a problem man Beautiful. Uh, i can definitely donate here should you just want to take some iron where did i put it? oh where man did, is there a chest full of iron oh my uh, goodness yeah yeah the second from the top on the right second from the top on the right Oh mm -hmm. man! Oh babe, yeah, look at that iron cheese! I've been collected. Holy uh, smokes! How many do you think? How many do you think would be a good uh, a good way into this collective here? Well, how about just uh, just a stack of blocks or two? What stack do you think? Stack of blocks. Yeah, take two stacks, man. Let's do two this. Stacks? Take two, two stacks. Two stacks. Okay, two stacks. And I'm and gonna where's... give you I'm gonna give you this just as a token <gasps> of appreciation. Ooh, you can keep that. Nice. Okay, I've never messed with this. Uh, if I does it melt? If I put it next to a torch. It does not melt, I don't believe. Nice. Okay, because I, I would stink to lose it. Yeah. And also, yeah. question. Yep. Do, will I die if I stay in here? Yeah, it's not recommended. You start to shiver and freeze a little bit. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I tested it out. It's uh, it's very cold. It's very, very chilly. Uh, okay, okay. I won't spend too long in it. This is really cool, man. All right, where is this collective at? Because I'm going to need to know, like, when to go to collect it, right? Yep, so there's a tunnel in the nether. It says Snowball coming soon, and okay. it's, it's in the process of being constructed. There's already a bunch of cauldrons out there, and with this iron net, will definitely help out get a bunch more. So, Sweet. Big awesome, thank you, man. man. All right. No, thank you. <laughs> Powdered snow is going to be fun. Cheers, man. Yeah, this is a cool base, by the way, too. Really oh, cool to see. Thanks. Work in progress, of course, but it's coming along. Definitely. Definitely. All, All right, right, man. man. Well, uh, I'll see you out. Thank you for coming by, dude. Thanks again, man. Yeah. See okay. you later. See ya. All right, guys. So a huge thank you to Impulse, B00, and Vintage Beef for giving us a bunch of cauldrons and iron for this project. And we're going to go ahead and put down those cauldrons that we got from them right here. And they are free to come out here and collect powdered snow at any time. And yeah, this collective is now underway. So yeah, big thank you to those guys. And let's just go ahead and fill this all in here and start to fill in. I think we'll be able to start to fill in like the second area over here with even more cauldrons. So big thank you again to the other hermits. And yeah, welcome to the Snowball Collective. Well, guys, with the cauldrons we got from the other hermits, uh, we were able to finish up this bank of cauldrons right here, and we also started another bank of cauldrons over on this side, which is fantastic, so that's good to see. Uh, I also have a book and quill I'm going to put in a lectern at the front here. Uh, this just basically says, The Snowball Collective, the coolest of the cool kids, formerly the Powder Puff Kids. Uh, and the members right there, and if people want to join, talk to me about donating cauldrons. Oh, that... And, uh, <laughs> maybe next time we don't, uh, we don't ignore a creeper on the side of the, the, the structure. It's fine. We'll fix it. We'll get this book placed down. But, uh, 
Man, that was a close one. <laughs> All right, area repaired, and yeah, the book plays down now, so everything as it should be, and yeah. Hopefully we can get a few more members to this Snowball Collective in the near future. But for now, guys, I think that's going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks again for watching, guys. This has been Cub. Goodbye. <laughs>